Hi, Paul from Tack Rock Music. A few weeks ago, I dropped a video about taking Logic Pro Drummer and channeling it into Addictive Drums. Uh, when I dropped the video, uh, lots of comments came out, uh, lots of interest there. And one person was talking about using an alias instead of actually channeling the, uh, the routing into uh, Addictive Drums. And I did know about the alias option, but I just tried it out now and it's actually a bit better than the first version that I talked about. So let's jump into Logic and take a look how to, how to do that and the advantages of using that method instead of the other method I talked about. Okay, so here we are in Logic Pro. We have a drum track set up and we've got a small sequence um, set up here in the repeat section. We also have addictive drums um, brought in here. So if we open up addictive drums, we're going to be bringing the alias down to here. But first of all, let's just play uh, Logic Drums just to see how that sounds. Okay, and as always, we have full access down here to make any kind of modifications that we want. So for example, we can just take out the, uh, the snare or change it to, to cymbals. So let's just do that right now. As you can see, we can just do that as normal for Logic. So now if we open up Addictive Drums and we are going to be bringing it, uh, our alias into channel one here. So we simply just click the track here. We hold Option and Shift, click the track, and you can see where it says Make Alias. You just drag it down to the Addictive Drums track here. And now we have an alias here. So the first thing we need to do is to mute the SoCal drums, so we're not playing them both at the same time. So we're gonna mute that, and we're just gonna test to see if that works. And it works great, it's a little over, uh, over volume right now, so we can make an adjustments on that later, but I'm not gonna bother with that at this moment. So the, the, the neat thing about this is we can still make our adjustments in, in the um, Logic Pro, and it will actually make changes over here in Addictive Trump. So let's just try that first. So as you can see, we can make all kinds of changes and it pushes it right through to the alias of Addictive Drums. Now, the other method that I talked about, if you change the drummer, then you have to reroute the um, connection from Logic Pro Drummer into Addictive Drums, but in this method you don't need to. So let's try that now. So we're going to say go from Pop Rock and we'll just pick uh, Punk Rock. So now we have the Punk Rock Drummer. And we still have the connection which is great. We still have full access here to change anything uh, on the um, sequencing for the Logic Drummer. Uh, that works out really well and then as always we still have access to the addictive drums um, protocol or program so if we go here we can go into addictive drums and then we can do the full uh, software um, options here so we can change the drums we can do whatever we want in addictive drums which is fed from the logic pro drummer so now we have the option of using the logic drummer to get the sound that we want and then we can come into addictive drums and pick the drum kit and do any adjustments that we want here like we did before. The advantage of this method is we can change the drummer in Logic Pro and not have to reroute the uh, IO routing. Um, and this is quick and easy. You just simply click Shift Option and pull it down to here to an alias and away we go. Now, if we wanted to add in extra tracks, so for example, if we go like this, let's say we've got our whole song here figured out, I'm just, I'm just gonna delete that for now. So now we can pick the whole section that we've done, hold in Option and Shift, and we simply pull it down, and now we have all the aliases up that connect up to here, and we still have full advantage of changing up the Logic Drummer 
the seed down to the alias. So one thing is just remember to mute the Logic Drummer so we don't get double drums, and then we have full access to all of the different um, channels in Logic in uh, Addictive, and uh, away we go from there. So thanks to the uh, a viewer that suggested this uh, like I said I didn't know about this but I didn't realize that this is way simpler than the other version that I showed so hopefully you find this helpful and thanks for watching thanks for listening and thanks for all your suggestions and comments talk to you soon a lot of times YouTube will bring you my videos even though you haven't subscribed if you like what you see please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell